this is Prince Hakim. One of the three headed dragons, Ronnie Ron, Jordan, and me. But I'm not going to waste your time and I want to get straight into the point. This was a requested video by a young lady that she wanted to teach her nephews how black men can make more money. Or in general, that can apply for anybody, young or old. And I preferentially would like for y'all to share this to young brothers. If they might be a little bit off the beaten path and don't know what to do, or living in America, or maybe living wherever you at, to be honest with you, because the information is applicable for wherever you at, Johannesburg, Cape Town, Durban, Zimbabwe, doesn't matter and um i'm going to tell you in this video how black men can make money one of the key factors is working hard that's one of the key factors determination and 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 ambition and having an imagination to take you to where you want to go now i'm gonna touch into that later now i want to thank y'all for joining me and i'm really want to talk about financial empowerment for black men. And I, the only reason why I say that is just due to the statistics that plague us. Some of us are in jail. A lot of us are not graduating high school. A lot of us are not going to college. The statistics have been better, but I'm going to tell you. So first, I want to get into education and careers. I know a lot of brothers who might be passionate about something, but for you to fund your dream, you need a job. Just started that. And sometimes having a career can help you fund whatever dream you want to be, a rapper, a clothing designer, whatever. And uh, college education is a powerful tool, no matter how you might see the media might portray it, that it's a costly debt. There's ways to go about that, going to a community college, not going to a, a sometimes maybe avoiding going to an HBCU because an HBCU is just as expensive as a private college. So going to a public institution like a state college might save you some money. Now, one thing I remember my mother told me was a black man with a college degree are more likely to reach higher income brackets than ever. It's just a fact. You have a college education, you're going to go somewhere. Just like if you have a skilled trade, you're going to go somewhere. Plumbers, pipe fitters, truck drivers, all these are high, high income position. You talk about hundred thousand and plus, you know what I mean? And there's so many ways to do it. I know you say, oh, I don't can afford it. I come from honorable mentions. I'm from the projects. There's scholarship grants. And if that might fail, pure hustle will get you there. I've never seen nobody not get nowhere without pure hustle. You know what I'm trying to say? And, and, and it would enlighten you more. Now, the thing is, too, with careers, a lot of black men make the mistakes of going into careers that don't make money. You know what I'm trying to say? And, you know, the statistics is out there. Sciences and technology is where it's at. Criminal justice is not the thing, my brothers. Criminal justice is not the thing. A liberal arts degree is not going to put food on the table. I'm telling you this because I know people with liberal arts degrees and they're flipping burgers. You know what I mean? You got to research in demand fields with higher potential, look in the careers that align with your interests and skills. And sometimes don't be afraid to explore vocational paths. And I mentioned that like trade school. I think the big thing issue is, and I would love to start a program is, you know, you got the big brother program, but we need one specifically for young black men. I want to be able to create a program, a big brother, to connect successful black men in the fields that you want to in it. And um, so you could see how they got there and what strive or adversities they did. It. And then on top of that, being able to attend, you know, I mean, you got to attend industry events, join professional organizations and build relationships. You know, what I mean, a lot of these things are free. None of these cost money. You got Eventbrite, Meetup. They always have these things. You know what I mean? Nothing is not obtainable, man. Everything is. You want to be a, 
a car manufacturer or a car designer, go to car manufacturer meetups. Go to meetups. Go see how they do it, how people build cars. There's so many ways to do it. You know what I mean? But I do say get into a career that's going to make money. Sciences is where it's at. Coding, data analysts, um, cybersecurity. You know what I mean? These are where it is. But I'm not telling you to negate your passion as well. If you a person who you have the passion and can go to school to become a doctor, do it, a lawyer. Just know that I'm not going to recommend a career if you don't have the passion for it and you're going to work as hard as in it to get some sort of satisfaction. Now, with that being said, we talked about the career aspects. Now, the most thing that are plaguing black men, and we're going to have a serious conversation, a heart to heart here that y'all might not like to hear. It's financial literacy. A lot of black men make the money, but don't know what to do with it. A lot of us spend it on frivolous things, bottles, sneakers, clothes, cars, pouring your money down the drain. I'm telling you, none of us don't even own land. Some of us don't even get the opportunity to own own property or, or anything. And this is where... Educating yourself about personal financing, learning how to budget, saving and investing and building credit is the thing. A lot of us have bad credit due to frivolous spending, due to not understanding credit utilization, um, hard inquiries, you know what I mean, getting evictions under your names. All this will save us to make more money. Just having good credit alone put you in a better tax bracket than most people. You'll save money. You would save money. So I think educate yourself on personal finance. I there's there's so many people to recommend. So many people to recommend, brothers. And I just want y'all to just focus on that. Now, one thing I am going to tell you is this. Right now it might not be a good time or unless you find a deal to make more money as a black man, ownership is key. That's either land, properties, or commercial properties. If you find a deal that makes sense and that doesn't cost too much. I know the housing market is in a rut right now, but sooner or later the downturn is coming. And for a lot of you guys, you know what I mean, who live in Mississippi, Alabama, um, some rural towns, a lot of y'all have opportunities to buy properties or land with the income that you make, don't look at what little money you make that you can't get it. You know, I, mean, I know somebody who owned three, four acres and was working at Burger King. Burger King, you know, I me mean? found the deal, put four, five hundred dollars down, was paying on monthly. Now, you know, what I mean, he's working to put a uh, the, uh, uh, what you call that, a um, double wide trailer on it. That's home ownership, he can pass that on. You know me or whatever. Throw a couple goats on there. You won't have to pay no taxes. So you know me. Home ownership is doing. Um, and but and but doing your research is important. And one thing I'm gonna tell you. Anything I tell you on this is no not financial advice. This is just opinions. Um. Another thing is to, a lot of us work and don't invest. And this is something key I want to talk about. If you start investing early, even with small amounts. The power of compound interest can grow well significantly over time. Um, and, I, and I'm saying this to a lot of guys who might not have traditional employment. You still, too, can invest and be able to have a retirement later on. You necessarily do not have to get a good job or be in there. If you're making a significant amount of money and know what to do with your money, you can't. You know what I mean? Nobody's not going to stop you from opening up a brokerage account if you was a convicted felon. You know what I mean? If you you can open up a brokerage account, invest 20 something dollars, S&P 500, not financial advice. That's really all that it takes. Over a period of time, 20 years, you have enough money to retire. Enough money to retire. A lot of you guys who are on factory jobs or working for old man Willis, if he has a 401k plan, you still invest and still have a side account. It's just that simple. There's nothing, but you got to start early. A lot of you young brothers who stay at jobs for 10, 20 years, not a problem. Invest. You can become a millionaire later. Trust me when I tell you this. S&P 500. S&P 500. That really is. You know what I mean? There's so many, 
um, ETFs you can invest in at S and P in this. Now, getting to the getting to the nuts and bolts of this, because I'm trying not to make this video too long, but um, I wanted to say this, and this is the meaningful thing, and this is where you're going to get the most money as a black man, the most money. Um, you know, the adversities, um, the glass ceilings we face trying to work for companies and everything. If you want to make the most money, the best thing to do is to become an entrepreneur, be your own boss. A lot of y'all know that, uh, especially for my brothers who are convicted felons, especially for my people from the diaspora who are not able to get certain jobs. They're forced to become bosses. You know, I mean, if you have a good idea, tackle it and run through it. This way you get the most money and the most satisfaction. Even just starting a YouTube channel, Toro, Airbnb, anything that puts you in a place where you can start a business, but you have to think it through, plan it out so you won't lose. But being a business owner is always going to be better than everything for history. As history can prevail itself, black men from now going back the most they ever say have ever succeed is through entrepreneurship most the most that ever provided for black communities entrepreneurship there's you know there's nobody telling you that you can't work here there's no adversities you're going to get when you become your own boss yes you're going to have adversities but you know what i mean nobody's not going to stop you from telling you that, oh, you can't get this job when you create your own job. Dame Jazz said it most definitely. Hustle for your last name. Hustle for your last name. Johnson, Brown, Plummer, Blake. Hustle for your last name. Give your kids an opportunity. Give them a job. And don't put them out in the workforce where they might get discriminated and where they might be marginalized, where they might be forced to take a position less than what they're worth. You create that company so they won't have to go through that. That's what I want to do for my heirs. And, and lastly, um, this is something that black men struggle to do, and I think that we need to change the narrative on this because we always think we can do things on our own. The lone wolf theory You'll never make it if you go by yourself. Lone wolves who go out there tend to die because they're not in the pack, because they don't have nobody to lean on. Find a mentor. Some black men are not too ignorant or too big-headed to mentor people who mean it. A lot of them tend to stray away from that because people don't want to put in the work that these people have done to become successful. If you want guidance, support, and to lean into where you want, find a mentor. Most older guys want to pass their knowledge down, but to the people who's willing to put in the work. Kevin Samuel said this, you got to work 60 hours. You know what I mean? You got to focus on your health, focus on education. Read a book a week. Read a book a week. That's going to get you to that. So... I'm calling on all black men, young men, old men, no matter where you're at in your life, you can still make a difference. I'm applauding you and I'm challenging you to do that. And I'm putting prayers to God for you to look at this video and say that I'm going to make a change today. I'm going to change my position. You could be on the streets. My video come up, clean yourself up, get you a book and start to think. Imagine how you can make things happen that's the greatest asset you have is this um like the video subscribe to the channel if you want to hear more financial empowerment more black men empowerment um share this video to your son uncle brother nephew you know what i mean share this to somebody it might be helpful to we only here to help i'm only here as a um, shepherd to try to help create the next wave of strong, successful black men. I want to thank you for watching. This is Chaos Culture Radio, and I'm out. Peace.